Well, yesterday was a pretty tragic day. Back outside in the garage, we're going to see if we can salvage this project. If not, in Canada, I'm looking at $250 for a new case and $50 for a new nut. So, it's $300. We gotta try our best to see if we can make this work. One of the biggest concerns was is since I buffed out those threads, would there be enough threads left that if I could get that nut to catch, would it be enough to hold it in place? So the pinion isn't seated yet. And I got lots of threads. So I'm not concerned about that. I did clean up the threads here, they were marred up from when I try to get that punch in to get that lip out. Now, in case you're wondering, if you're very careful, a hacksaw blade is the same width of the pitch of the metric thread. So I fixed those threads with a hacksaw blade. The problem is, you gotta knock this piece down to lock it in place, now however, I was trying to pull it away from causing complete damage and you can still see the very top pitch is screwed up. Now, seeing this done, if I was going to do this again, I would take a die grinder and I would die grind those sections out very carefully. Either way, you still have a 50-50 chance of getting into the same situation where I am. So before you go through all this trouble, you need to ask yourself, do I absolutely need to do this or can I get away without doing it? Personally, myself, those bearings were worn, but the amount of time I ride my quad, it probably could have lasted a lifetime of it. So moving forward from that, I am going to drill on top a couple holes get these little cutoff bolts put in there because that's going to be able to give me the downforce because the problem is I can't really thread this in because the tool just falls through. So a couple of bolts in there, hopefully lock her in and we're going to see what happens. We're all set up here for the operation. In times like this, you must ask yourself, what would Jesus do? For cutting fluid today, I'm using motor oil from when I had my BMW. All right, it's the moment of truth. This is what I did. Two bolts drilled and tapped. I get downward force in there, hopefully centered, got her lubed up in there, because uh, she ain't going to like it if you stick it in dry, especially if you're going to stick it in hard. Might not go over so well. There's no promises. Problem is doing it by hand. The odds of you making it happen are going to be slim. Maybe, maybe we got her. Well, it looks like we got her in and we buried the threads. Well, we got her out, but we got to be able to get it back in again. And then keep working it so those threads up top here can kind of form. Maybe we got her. Getting in the second time, not so lucky. This nut is pretty much ruined anyways. What I'm going to do is make a poor man's tap where I have it in green. Especially that part I'm notched. We're going to cut grooves in there. 
evenly around turn it into a tap because this is aluminum and maybe we can tap some new threads in there Yeah, there's no guarantee this is going to work either, but right now we're desperate. So far the poor man's top seems to be working. Did I bottom the threads? Yeah, pretty much. And I could get like one more thread left. Well that, my friends, is how you make chicken soup out of chicken shit. I am pretty happy with that. I was actually going to buy a brand new nut, but I'm just going to use this one and probably red Loctite the shit out of it when I go to install it. Crisis averted, but we're not out of the woodwork yet. We still got some issues along the way we may have to battle, but I'm feeling pretty good. Man, that was a relief. Saved myself 300 bucks plus shipping. Hey, buddy. You ready to come inside? How's your mouth, buddy? Well, this is it. After today, the snow is coming. I had all this ambition to come in the garage today after work and pill around a little bit. But I think I'm just going to enjoy the last day of no snow because tomorrow, all throughout the week, it's just supposed to dump snow, probably up to 20 centimeters by the weekend, which means we're in for the long, cold winter now. Winter is here. I'd rather be outside instead of pilling around in the garage. So you didn't eat nothing all day, but as soon as your human comes home, and you go outside for a little bit, you come inside and you eat up all your food. We need to think up a better way that we can give you your medicine, Mr. Tomcat. Because you don't like taking your medicine. See, I wasn't lying. Winter is finally here. At least I got to enjoy the last day before the snowstorm came. And uh, it snowed quite a bit, I must say. I got some wood cut up, chopped up some wood for the pile there. Still got quite a bit. Yes, the plan is hopefully have a fire tonight. The door may stop over. The roads are pretty bad, so I'm not so sure about that. Tomcat's cage got blown out. He's become a big softy now. He doesn't want anything to do with outside. Well, let's see if the Jeep will start if I'll have to get it a boost. Oh yeah, it still started. I came prepared with the booster pack even. I'm gonna be doing both batteries in the Jeep and in the truck and do the truck more because I drive the truck more than I drive the Jeep. I find the Jeep is good in the winter time when the roads are really deep in snow. But I find if the roads are snow covered, the Jeep is absolutely horrible. So that's why I drive the truck more or less. It's really shitty. It's kind of a catch 22 situation. The Jeep 
because the short wheelbase I find is not a good all around wintertime driving vehicle, especially in two wheel drive. Anyways, I'm gonna go out, grab some groceries, come back, hopefully get a fire going. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. We're gonna make this quick, and we're gonna make this dirty because this beer is freezing up outside. You can even see the top. Oh shit, boys. Oh. This is Blackberry Milkshake IPA. And with it being winter time outside, this will be a milkshake, all right. I'm gonna end the video here. We got an idea that we're gonna try to make that nut work using the poor man's tap. We're not out of the woods yet. Still a couple things that are gonna be a little bit challenging is getting those needle bearings for the pinion in and then getting the bearings on, put in that shaft, get that nut that I modified locked down. I'm gonna lock it down with Loctite because it'll probably line up where that tab is and we won't be able to bend it over. And fingers crossed, hope for the best. Anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching.